Uh, welcome, welcome to the show. Look at you there, yeah. I want to clarify. She's wearing heels, uh, no. and I'm on my knees. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why you're on your knees, please? No, uh, good to see you, buddy. She's uh, she's she's taller than I am. Yeah, I know she is. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, congratulations on the success of uh, uh, The Big Sick. Uh, you got rave reviews, a lot of awards buzz uh, starting here. Huge year for you. I love the movie so much. I, I, I just like, wow, everything was a curveball. I just couldn't believe it. I want to get into it. But uh, you did a great job, I want to say, as hosting Saturday Night Live as well. Oh, that thank you. Nice. Thank you. That was no. a real crazy yeah. dream come true. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, well, the first time I was ever on TV, I was in, an, uh, in a Saturday Night Live sketch. I actually had, I had two lines in a sketch on Saturday Night Live. At dress rehearsal, I had three lines, and then I messed up one of my lines, so on the show I had two lines. <laughs> but I was on, I was, that was the first time I was on TV, and then I got to host it years later. I mean, that's what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. You think that's your only chance to go, ah? But you, were, you did a great job. Thank you. I, uh, you know, I had this moment. I was doing the monologue, and it was going really well. Yeah, it's, it was. I'm, I'm having a fun time. I'm having a blast. I decided I would have fun hosting. Having a great time. And then I look over, and I notice Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg is standing there. And I'm just doing it, and I'm like, oh my god, that's definitely Steven Spielberg. <laughs> And I kind of panicked inside and messed up the next line. And then I actually look away. I could see myself composing myself. And then I continue. But before I did this, I actually watched my monologue. To, I found the moment where I saw Steven Spielberg. Can, right, we, we, have, can we show well, that? I, I have three photos here. OK, this, yeah, so this here. is a photo here, doing the monologue. So I'm doing the monologue. I'm, it's going great. Look how happy I am. <laughs> Yeah, you look handsome. Well. Yeah, you look sharp. I'm like, this is going well. I belong here. Yeah. Let's see the. This is the exact moment I noticed Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> this is the exact moment I noticed him, and this is a couple seconds later. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. I mean, that's freaky. Did you, so did you get to meet him at all at the after party? Or after yes. So I saw him at the after party, and I just went up to him, and I was like, you know, I, you messed up my monologue. No, you did not. I said, I noticed you, and I stumbled, and he laughed really hard. Yeah. And you know you think when you meet your heroes, you're going to be all chill and cool and stuff? Yeah. I was just like, I have a couple questions about close encounters of the third kind. <laughs> And I just, he I was just... like, anyone get me out of this conversation? <laughs> uh, I want to hear about your obsession with Hugh Grant, because this is in the movie. You, guys, well, if you haven't seen this movie, you are going to love it. There's so many jokes in there, by the way. That's one of the reasons I love it so much. Well written. It was so performed great, but so many jokes. But then there's this thing where you're, uh, you have, like, you're obsessed with Hugh Grant. In yeah. real life, you are. Yes. Like, you, you, in high school, you would never smile in photos because you heard that... Hugh Grant doesn't smile in photos. Yeah. Because he, why? Because he, he said it makes his face look fat. <laughs> and I was like, I don't want my face to look fat. I want to look like Hugh Grant. So I didn't smile in pictures for many years. Why were you obsessed with Hugh Grant? Well, because I really loved Four Weddings and a Funeral. I've watched it. Why are people laughing? It was a great movie. It is. Have yeah. you seen it? Of course I have. Numerous oh my times. God! It's got many everything. Times. Four weddings. It's got a funeral. Yeah, and a funeral. Yeah, yeah. The title. Don't give away the spoilers. <laughs> <No. laughs> it's actually yeah. three weddings, a funeral, and then another wedding. Spoilers. Um, <laughs> but I just. But but a total of four weddings. It's got a total of four weddings and a total of one funeral. Funeral. Okay, good. I'm glad they. They settled on that title. There's some receptions and stuff, but I think that counts amongst the wet. I yeah, could two or three recite yeah. the whole movie right now. You really could. Um, so, so what happened was I watched this at a, a very impressionable age, and in the beginning of the movie, Hugh Grant is uh, he's the best man at one of the weddings, wedding one, and he, he does this speech, his best man speech, and it's basically a monologue. It's basically a stand-up piece, right? He's he's doing jokes. I remember watching it and being like, that was the first stand-up I fell in love with, and I became a stand-up because of his best man speech at Wedding One. You're kidding me. Yeah, and I, 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 when, I, when I watch early videos of me doing stand-up, I'm basically doing an impression of Hugh Grant at Wedding One, or Four Weddings and a Funeral, 
And I wanted, I loved his hair. Do we have a, we have a, look at, look at what a great job I did. Which one? <laughs> look at that. <laughs> no smile. No smile. No smile. I mean, look, this part it's is perfectly is, floppy. It is fantastic. It's perfect. Here, there's a little, you know, I went, I sort of added my own flair. But... Yeah, you had your own. <laughs> You had to add your own flair. I just love this, uh, and I love uh, that you really are uh, obsessed with him because, uh, I, I don't know, I just think it's great. You actually got to meet Hugh Grant. Yeah, so this is what happened. So Richard Curtis... Uh, oh, he's and, phenomenal. Yeah, he's amazing. He wrote Four Weddings, and he Notting wrote... Notting Hill Love, actually. Yeah. He's a genius. He's a genius, and him and his uh, partner, Emma, yep. had us over. They heard that we were big fans, and they had us over to their house in London and Emily and I were eating with them and the doorbell rang and Emily was like, uh-oh. And I was like, what do you know? She didn't know, but Hugh, Hugh Grant walked in uh, and he was very nice, no idea. <laughs> you, I just know your voice just went up like three volume. <laughs> <laughs> just saying his name. Hugh, Hugh Grant. Grant! Yeah, I can it Come was a real, down. yeah, it's just been, you know, like at SNL, it was surprise Spielberg. Yeah, was, exactly. Surprise Grant. Yeah, you got a surprise Spielberg, yeah. Yeah, I got a surprise Grant, and then I actually, uh, I, I got a picture with it. And here's why I love it, because you're not smiling and he is. And that's just... Look at that. Look at that. Look Isn't at that, that great? You got Isn't See? that great? I got to take that line out. Isn't that fantastic? On and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.